Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Yonkers Public Library. I'm Rose Aviles, and I am the Community Services Coordinator for the Yonkers Public Library System. Excited to be with your, you here today. I will be teaching you how to sign up for our online instructor-led courses through Gale. Let me take you to the YPL homepage so you know exactly where to go. So here's the homepage. As you can see, we're working on uploading and applying a lot of different digital resources as well as digital programming for our patrons. So continue to visit us and you'll find new adventures every time you log on. Today we're going to learn how to sign up for Gale courses, go into technology, online learning tab, click it. First one that'll pop up is Gale courses. You're going to click on that. It'll direct you to a new window. You know you're in the right place when it says Yonkers Public Library and Gale Courses. If it doesn't say Yonkers Public Library, you likely will not be able to get in. So, so here we are in the home page of Gale Courses. You see at the top Yonkers Public Library, Gale Courses, and there are a ton of subjects that you can learn. I have a lot more time on my hands, so I might want to sign up for two or three, maybe even four classes if I'm ambitious in different subjects, and it will allow me to do that for free. So today I wanna learn a little bit about technology, and in each subject, there are sub-subjects, essentially other subjects you could learn within that course. So here I wanna learn a little bit about graphic and multimedia design. I can browse all of the courses that they have. There are two pages worth of free courses. Let's sign up for Intermediate Photoshop CC. As you can see, there are various dates. March 18th did pass, but what it will allow me to do is go back into that class and catch up. I'm not that far behind. I'm only technically one week behind. So I'm gonna continue enrollment with March 18th as my start date. If it's an option, why not? I'll catch up. I have plenty of time to do so. So I am going to create a new account. Although I've never been a student here before, I am a new student and this is where I'm going to start. I'm gonna create a new account. It's gonna ask you for your account information, which is going to basically be the same credentials you used, the same email address, I'm gonna let it use this strong password for security purposes of this video. And do I want to receive information and offers by email? Why not? Every time a new class is posted, they'll notify me. And they are not going to solicit you. As you can see down here, this note, we do not sell, trade, or give any personal information to any outside parties. I love that. So I'm gonna put my title in. And I'm going to use my credentials. Everyone knows my name is Rose Aviles. My birth date, phone number, I'm going to use the library's phone number for now. An address, going to use the library's address, well, the Riverfront Library. So you plug in all of your credentials. And then once you're done with that, it's going to direct you into a page that is going to ask for more information. Additional information is needed before completing enrollment. If you do not have the following information readily available, please go back, remove class to add at a later time. You do have the additional information if you have a Yonkers Public Library card. So I'm going to continue my enrollment with confidence. And here it is. This is where you plug in your library card barcode number, which you'll find on your library card. Perfect. Use library card. Fortunately, you do not need a PIN number for this registration. You are enrolled. Exciting. So now that you're enrolled, you can enter your classroom roster by clicking on enter my classroom. And if you're ambitious as as many of you are at this moment, there are plenty of 
classes that you can sign up to at the same exact time. So let's sign up for another class, College Readiness Math. Your students, teenagers at home, those who are in high school can also participate and sign up for these classes. Prepare for the GED math test, Introduction to Statistics. I'm gonna enroll to this one as well. Continue enrollment, continue enrollment once again. I'm going to use the same library card information. Yay, now I have two classes that I have selected. You can print this page for your records if you have a printer at home or a copy of this information will be emailed to you. Enter my classroom. Look at that, I have two active courses right now. Let's enter one of them so I can give you an example of what you're looking at. Once you get inside, you'll see that you have technically missed getting started the pretest, which typically is not graded. It's just to test your knowledge about a subject. Lesson one, lesson two, they're unlocked because these dates have already passed. But as you move forward, these are not unlocked. It will become available on March 25th at 3 a.m. March 27th and so forth until class is over April 24th. You have a final examination. Your grades will be posted. They will keep a track record for you, which is amazing. You can share it on your resume. You can share it on your LinkedIn profiles. These are really good credentials to have for your professional development, personal development, and of course, if you're a high school student. So let's go back to my online courses. Uh, really quickly, I wanted to show you one other very cool tool. When you go into your classroom up here, my classroom, and at the bottom, there is a newsletter that you can sign up for, and then you can also share. So let's look at a report. So because I haven't submitted any quizzes yet, I technically can't share anything. But once the course is over, you can share on Facebook as well your exam score, your class score, and show everyone that they can also sign up for this if they are a Yonkers Public Library patron. And that's it. I hope this video helped you. And have a wonderful learning experience. I'll see you soon.